After preparing the pattern, it is time to cut the pieces out of the fabric. To do so, gather a 2 by 18 inch clear ruler, pins, and a pencil. If the fabric you have chosen is too dark for the pencil to show up, use the tailor's chalk to mark the fabric instead. Lay out the fabric for the outside of the bag flat on the table. The wrong side of the fabric should be facing up. The fabric should be flat and square. It can be useful to use the edge of the cutting table as a straight edge to match the selvage edge along. Pin the fabric in place. Lay out the twill flat lining for the bag body on top of the fabric with the wrong side facing up. The grain of the flat lining needs to match the grain of the fabric. Use the stitch lines or placement lines of the flat lining as the grain line. Either the top or the side will work. Consider the pattern of your fabric when deciding which direction will work best for you. The grain line needs to run parallel to the selvage edge. To check this, use a ruler to measure the distance from the selvage edge to the stitch line. Make a mental note of the distance and place a pin into the fabric and table to hold it in place. Move the ruler down and measure again. Adjust the flat lining until the two numbers match so that the stitch line and the grain of the fabric in the flat lining is parallel to the selvage edge and the grain of the fabric underneath. Place a pin through the fabric and table to hold it in place. Double check that the two measurements are the same. With the two layers flat on top of one another, pin the two layers together. Lay out and trace any other pattern pieces to cut out of this fabric. When all the pieces are ready, cut around the outside edge of the flat lining. Next, lay out and trace the inner pockets. Continue on the same fabric or lay out the second fabric in the same manner, pinning it square and flat on the table. Place the inner pocket pattern piece with the printing facing up on the table. Remember that this piece is cut on the fold, so you need to leave room on that edge to flip and trace it again. Do not place the cut on the fold edge edge too close to the edge of the fabric. When you have located a place on the fabric, use the ruler to measure from the grain line, just like with the flat lining, to check that the pattern piece is on grain or parallel with the selvage edge of the Remember fabric. Remember to leave space along the edges to add the inch seam allowance. Adjust the pattern piece until it is on grain and pin into place. Use the pencil or tailor's chalk if your fabric is too dark for the pencil to show up to trace around the outside edge of the pattern piece. Be sure to mark the notches at the fold lines and ends of the darts. Also mark the points of the darts through the small holes that you punched. It's often helpful to use the ruler to draw the lines along the long straight edges. Use a light dashed line to mark the center. Check that you have traced all the sides and markings. Remove the pins and flip the pattern over. Line up the pattern piece along the center cut on fold line with the dashed line that you drew on the fabric. Be sure it matches from top to bottom as well as left to right. Pin in place. Trace around the outside and mark the dart points and notches. Then remove the pins and pattern. 
Now add the seam allowance around the sides and bottom of the pocket. Use the ruler to measure out the seam allowance and draw a second line. This will be the line to cut along. Next, draw in the two fold lines using the ruler and the notches you made as a guide. Use the dots and notches to draw in the stitch lines and center lines of the darts. After everything has been traced and marked, carefully cut along the outer edge. Repeat the same steps to cut out the bag lining. Check that it is on grain, trace around the edge, mark all the notches and internal markings, add the seam allowance, and cut out along the outer line. Remember to use the ruler and pencil to connect the dots to create the guidelines for the inner pocket placement. Double check that you have traced, cut, and marked all of the pieces you need to construct the tote bag. Fold and place all of the pieces into your bin for use later. Fold up your remaining fabric and place it into your bin just in case. 